So this is the new mapping system and you have to log in. And once you're logged in, you can start creating new maps like you did the last time in the old system. In some ways it's quite similar. So at this point you've got to select premium topo maps to get the OS maps. You can zoom in to get your 1 in 25,000 map scale. And you can create maps and plots like you did in the, la like you did in the last system. But this has got some added advantages where you can click on any waypoint and click, make it into a checkpoint, which is great. So you can create, same as the last time, put in the descriptions, the titles and your checkpoints and save it. And that will go into your root card. The only difference is on this system, the root card isn't on the mapping system. It's back in E, D, V. This is an OS mapping system. So slightly different but in some ways a lot better once, we get, once you get the hang of it. So you need to name it, put a description and save. Now back in EDUV, you can refresh your maps, get new maps it says there. And if you, I've got a lot of maps here, but if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll be able to see the one you've just created called Skulti Hill Bronze DUV. And then you can create your root card by clicking on this bit here. And you can put in your root card, descriptions, etc. Just like you always do. And here you can save it and then you can print it. Make it a downloadable PDF. Save that and send it and email it or print it off. Now getting your old maps into the new mapping system is a bit tricky. So if I select this one here, one of my old maps. I've then got to download a GPX. And then import that GPX file into the new mapping system, OS Maps. Here you go. So it's go to Roots, Import GPX, choose the file, and then Import. Click on the check route details, and it'll take you into this nice little map here in the middle of Cairn Gorms. Um, and there's things, there's left-hand option menus, you can, you can select things and you can zoom in, etc. And you can click to add in your waypoints, so you can see those in your map, that sort of stuff. So that's your map created. So now you get new maps again, you scroll down to the bottom, and that map should appear. But what I've found is the, the naming didn't come across with it. So it says, it says it here, it says root name. So obviously that's not what we want. So it should be the name that we had for our previous old map in our old system. So if you open it back up again, you can go in and edit the name to what it was before. Quite a great route through the middle of the Cairn Gorms that is. So that's it named again. You just save that, come out the mapping system, back into EDV, refresh the system, scroll down till you find your new maps which are coloured green and it still says root name, this is what I found about fast, so I had to refresh that data then the proper name comes through. Okay, so that's a quick overview of the new mapping system so you can do exactly the same sort of features and print off and save and do all your maps on there.